Okay, let's go to page 83, and this is section 6.5. This is about transforming polynomials. So this is one, if you know the roots, then you, and you can kind of, you, you can use that clue to find uh, the, uh, the, 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 the polynomial they're asking for, okay? So for example, if you have an x to the 4 minus 3x squared plus x minus 9. So this one, this is the fourth power, so you're going to get four roots, okay? So you're going to get r1, r2, uh, r3, r4. Now, you're looking for polynomial whose roots are reciprocal of these. So you're looking for polynomial. So you're looking for polynomial, they have the roots that 1 over r1, 1 over r2, 1 over r3, 1 over r4. So here's your polynomial with these four roots. You're looking for a polynomial that has a reciprocal roots. Okay? So in this case, actually it's fairly simple. Okay? All you have to do is just reverse, reverse the coefficient. So you can reciprocal roots, all you have to do is re reverse the coefficient. But you have to be careful. Okay? Notice there's a missing term. So you're going to get x to the 4 plus 0x to the 3 minus 3x to the 2 plus x minus 9. Okay, so you have to watch, make sure there's a missing term. So the coefficient would be negative 9 x to the 4. The coefficient is just going to reverse order. Okay, now notice there's a 1, so it would be plus x to the 3. Okay, 1 x to the 3. Okay, and then next would be minus 3 x to the 2. Then would be plus, plus 0 x plus 1. Okay, notice the coefficient, negative 9. 1, negative 3, then 0, then 1. It's just called reverse order, but you have to keep track of your exponents. And since there's, there's, no, there's a 0, so p of x will equal to negative 9 x to the 4 plus x to the 3 minus 3 x squared plus 1. And that's your answer. Okay? So to find a polynomial with a, re, with a reciprocal roots, all you have to do is just go, make the coefficient go opposite direction. That's all you have to do. Okay. Now, next one. Um, on page 84, example 6 12, it says find a polynomial whose, whose roots are twice that of f of x. So you have, you have this function. You have f of x equal to x to the 4 minus 3x squared plus x minus 9, okay? So again, this, this one have a, the roots of R1, R2, R3, R4. You're looking for a polynomial whose roots are twice that roots. Means you're looking for polynomial with, with the roots that are 2R1, 2R2, 2R3, 2R4, okay? You're looking for polynomial of that. Okay, the way to do this, the way to do this problem um, is first you need to write out, again, there's a missing term. Okay, so you're going to plus 0x to the 3 minus 3x squared plus x minus 9. Okay, now, the way you do this is, is very simple. So when the roots are doubled, this is what you need to do, okay? You need to start with one to the zero power of x to the four plus um, two, two to the zero power, then two to the one power times this over here, okay? And then you're gonna plus, so two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two power times negative three, x, so coefficient is the same, but the additional part is you have to multiply by exponents of the two. Okay, and so it'd be 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3 power, okay, 2 to the 3 power times, the next one would be 1 times x, okay, plus 2 to the 4 power times negative 9, okay, so you can notice, if, so only part you add in the front is 2 to the 0 power, 2 to the 1 power, 2 to the 2 power, 2 to the 3 power, 2 to the 4 power. So you always start with 2 to the 0 power and keep going for whatever the things you have to do. 
So the f of x will be equal to x to the 4, and this is 0, so it's gone. So this is 4 times negative 3 will give you minus 12 x squared, and this would be uh, plus ax, and this would be minus 144, and that's your answer. Okay, so when you double the when you double the roots, okay, then you have to do this. Okay. Okay. Now it gets more complicated now. Okay, let's go to example six dash thirteen. Okay, so you have a polynomial equal to 5x to the 4 plus 12x to the 3 plus 8x to the 2 minus 6x minus 1. Okay, so again, this way have the roots, you know, so there are four, four powers, so it would be four roots, right? R1, R2, R3, R4, right? So you're looking for polynomial whose roots are half the reciprocal of that. So half of the reciprocal. Okay, so that's what you need to do, okay, for this one. Okay, so for this one, what you need to do is, um, first, you're going to do the half. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, because you're going to flip over, right? So notice it's actually double of the reciprocal. So you're going to double, then you're going to do the flipping, okay? So first, notice R, right? Notice two times, right? So you actually have to do the double, and then after you're going to flip it over, okay, right? So you have to do the double first, then you're going to do the reciprocal, okay? So to do the double, and so the double, um, I'm going to call, okay, so, so P of X, well, when you double, would be 2 to the 0 power times 5 X to the 4 plus 2 to the 1 times 12 x to the 3 plus 2 to the 2, 8x to the 2 plus 2 to the 3, negative 6x plus 2 to the 4 times negative 1, right? So 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, and so forth. So P of x is going to equal to 5x to the 4 plus 24x to the 3 plus 32x to the 2, minus 48x, minus 16. So this is, this is when you have double the root, okay? Right? So now we're going to flip it over to get that, right? And we, remember, reciprocal is actually fairly easy. So reciprocal roots, you just kind of just reverse, right? So it would be negative 16x to the 4, Minus 48x to the 3 plus 32x square, uh, square, okay, plus 24x plus 5, and voila, that's it. So reciprocal is fairly easy. Okay. Okay, that's going. Okay, that's another one we need to cover. Okay, that's the example 6-14. This one gets messy. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it says find an equation whose roots are 3 greater than those of. So again, you have f of x equal to x to the 4 minus 3x to the 3 minus 3x squared plus 4x minus 6. So again, the original polynomial, we have, because of the fourth power, so you're going to have four roots, right? So you're going to get R1, R2, R3, okay, R4. Now you're looking for polynomial whose roots are 3 greater than this. That means you'd be looking for R1 plus 3, R1, uh, R2 plus 3, R3 plus 3, R4 plus 3. Okay, now this gets a little bit messy. So, with this, this is what you need to do, okay? You have to use synthetic division. So you have to go 1, negative 3, negative 3, 4, negative 6. 
Okay, now you're looking for the roots are three greater than, right? So this is what you need to do. Okay, you remember when you do a synthetic division, you have to take the opposite, right? So you have to do the negative three, okay? So you you drop, multiply, you add, multiply, okay, you add, multiply, uh, you add, multiply, and you add. Okay, and remember the last number is your remainder, right? So in this case, your remainder will be your coefficients. Okay, so remember that number. Now you're gonna keep doing that, so you're gonna get one, negative six, 15, negative 41. Okay, so you're gonna continue the process. So you get negative three, so you drop, multiply, you add, multiply, you add, multiply, you add. Okay, so again, last number is your remainder, so keep that in mind, okay? You're gonna keep doing it. I kind of keep writing it, but in, in actuality, you can just continue. Notice it's the same number, but I kind of like to separate so easier to kind of keep track, easier to follow. Okay, so drop, multiply, you add, multiply, you add. Okay? So keep, keep remember that number. Okay, the next number, so it'd be 1, negative 12. Okay? So you drop, multiply, you add. Uh, Okay, and so you got only one number left, okay? So you drop, that's it, right? When you drop, that's nothing you can do, right? Okay, so what does all this number mean? Well, these are your coefficients. So your, so your f of x would be 1x to the 4, see this one over here, that's 1x to the 4, minus 15x to the 3, plus 78x squared minus 167x plus 117. And that's it, that's your answer. Okay? So, you, so we deal with various types of transformation. Okay?